not not sangria is bougie, but we are about to have salmon, smoked Alaskan salmon, gouda cheese, and wheat crackers for our snack. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Leah. I'm Justin. Thank you for joining us and welcome to our channel. We make videos to share with you what our life's been like since we decided to get up, get out, and get gone. In today's video, we're taking the high-speed rail from Tainan, Taiwan to Taipei, Taiwan for the new year. Come join us. Before we show you how to book your tickets on the high-speed rail, let's take a look at these trains. The high-speed rail opened in 2007 and consists of one line that runs approximately 350 kilometers along the west coast from the capital of Taipei to the southern city of Kaohsiung. And there are 997 trains weekly, with each train able to carry nearly 1,000 passengers each. These beauties are fast. With a top speed of 300 kilometers per hour, you can get from terminal station to terminal station in one hour and 45 minutes. Now let's take a quick look at the inside. There's two classes of cars, business and economy. From what we could see, there really isn't any legroom difference in business class seats, although they were a bit plushier. They didn't have the three, two configuration of the economy class seats that we booked. As for the facilities on the train, they are quite nice and easily accessible. We have men's bathrooms, women's bathrooms, a breastfeeding room, and even a cell phone room. I'm assuming this is a booth where you can make a phone call because really you shouldn't be talking on a Taiwanese train. They just don't talk on the trains. All high-speed rail trains are non-smoking facilities and they do come equipped with some of the things that we've grown to appreciate about Taiwan. I'm not saying we as bougie, but we are about to have salmon, smoked Alaskan salmon, gouda cheese, and wheat crackers for our snack. This was our first time on the high-speed rail. Our ride was a little under two hours when normally it could range from four to six. Our final destination was the Taipei main station. Connecting to the local MRT in Taipei was just as seamless and easy. Now, let's get into the how-to so you know what to do when you come to visit us in Taiwan. There are so many options for booking a trip. We're going to show you what those options look like. First, you can purchase at the high-speed rail station ticket counter. And depending on your starting point, you stand a pretty good chance of getting a customer representative that can speak English. You can also purchase tickets at any MRT station. Another option for buying tickets is the high-speed rail kiosk machines, of which there are several at Taipei Main Station. And they do have an English option which makes the process quite a breeze. If you want to book your high-speed rail ticket from the comfort of your favorite coffee shop, just visit the high-speed rail website. And you will still need to collect a printed ticket when purchasing from the website. An even more convenient option is purchasing through the iBond ticketing machines in most 7-Elevens. But bear in mind, you will pay an extra fee for the convenience. And of course, there is an app. You can download T-Express. This perhaps is the most user-friendly and convenient option. The best feature of using the app is getting the QR code to board rather than collecting physical tickets from a kiosk or a ticket counter. We are so excited to bring you this video because we are just in love with the train systems here in Taiwan. And we think the high-speed rail is a fantastic way to get from north to south. So you will know what the process is like when you come to visit us in Taiwan. This again was something that Justin and I have never done before. And we leave you with this question, when was the last time that you did something for the first time? Remember, it's never too late to get up, get out, and get gone. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the next video.